Buongiorno, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about clean fragrances. So if you want this clean girl aesthetic, then these fragrances will definitely put you in the mood for it. We are talking about simple clean fragrances, but yet very beautiful. Mostly these will be summer fragrances, so are on the fresh side, because to me a little bit you know, the clean vibe goes hand in hand with fresh fragrances. But I do have some bonus clean winter fragrances that I will talk about at the end of this video. So if you want to know all about the best clean fragrances, then please keep on watching. But before we start, if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Nura and on this channel I mostly talk about fragrances. So if you are a fragrance lover, then please consider subscribing and also hit the notification bell so you will get notified when I upload any new video. Also follow me on Instagram where I post some exclusive content that I don't do here on YouTube. And without further ado, let's start. So the way I decided to divide this video is by categories. So we have your simple one note or molecular fragrances. Then we have aquatic fragrances, fresh citrusy, fresh floral, fresh fruity florals, and at the end I will talk about clean winter fragrances. So let's start by the first category, which to me is the best representation of this clean girl vibe. And these are your molecular fragrances. What does that mean? These are fragrances that are quite simplistic, quite minimalistic, um, usually they have only one note, which is a synthetic note that is then added to fragrances to prolong their longevity. And I am mainly talking about Isui Super and Ambroxan. Both of these notes have a little bit of a woody undertone and have this fresh, clean vibe to them. Especially Ambroxan. I Definitely prefer Ambroxan to Isui Super, although they are quite similar, to be honest. To me, Ambroxan smells like clean laundry in the best way that you can imagine. It has a little bit of woodiness, as I said, slightly citrusy, but it's a very, very unique scent. And we have on the market two fragrances that have only this note, and this is Molecule O2 from Eccentric Molecules, and Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. And since some people are anosmic to Ambroxan, so they can't smell it, Juliet has a gun came out then with not a perfume super dose. So this is uh, like an enhanced version, let's say, of not a perfume. And I personally don't get not a perfume. I can't smell it, but I definitely can smell that. Unfortunately, not all the time. <laughs> but at least I can smell it sometimes and it's totally okay for me because I absolutely am obsessed with this scent. This is for me a crisp white shirt fragrance. I also use it for layering to enhance the performance of fresh fragrances in general. I also recently am spraying this perfume on my clothes even before washing them because at least to me, I don't know if you have the same experience, this fragrance really comes alive. In general, Ambroxan does that, even if it's in another fragrance, it comes alive for some reason when it has contact with water. So sometimes I spray myself, the fragrance is gone, I can't smell it, this one or another one that has Ambroxan, and while I'm taking the shower, suddenly the fragrance comes alive. Please tell me in the comments down below if you have a similar experience. So I recently am spraying this fragrance on my clothes, especially like the white one. So this, for example, or my pajamas. And I know after even after washing them, I can get a little bit of the perfume. If you can get it, if you are not anosmic to it, it is quite potent, very, very long-lasting. After all, it is a note that is added to the fragrances to enhance its performance. And if this is too simplistic for you, I would consider this one Moscow Mule, also from Juliet, from Juliet Has a Gun. Now, Juliet Has a Gun, generally speaking, has a lot of Isui Super and Ambroxan in their fragrances. And this is more fresher, less simple, more and complex interpretation of not a perfume with added 
citruses, slightly sweet, but very, very refreshing. And generally speaking, if you are into the vibe of this fresh laundry, clean laundry, ironed white t-shirt vibe, then go for eccentric molecules. This brand is all about that. Um, and in the same vibe, like this clean white shirt vibe, I would also recommend Atelier Colon Cidre Atlas. It reminds me a lot of, not a perfume super dose, but it has a little bit of a enhanced woodiness because it has cedar. And if you don't like woody fragrances, don't worry. This is like an eau de cologne, so it's very light. To me, it smells just fresh and clean. And again, Atelier Cologne is a brand that has a lot of this fresh fragrances. I wouldn't categorize them as fresh and clean, not all of them, but they have a lot of variety of this very fresh fragrances that are on the light side so they give you this clean feeling but if i have to choose one it will definitely be uh, cedra atlas by the way as you can see i'm not going through them by my favorite but stick to the end of this video and i will tell you about my top three clean fragrances next category are aquatic fragrances and initially i had three fragrances but then i chose only one i will tell you why in a second Let's talk first about this one. This is Christian Dior, or from the private collection, from Dior Eden Rock. Now, this is a very fresh, clean mineral jasmine. Predominant note here is jasmine, but I decided to put it in the aquatic category because this mineral touch that this fragrance has, this aquatic feeling, definitely makes it quite unique. The only problem with this fragrance, to, in my opinion, is the longevity and sillage. It does not last very long, it doesn't project much. So the problem with aquatic fragrances, in my opinion, this is why I didn't include both of wood sage and sea salt and Pacific Rock Moss, is because they are aquatic but they have more of a marine vibe to them. And the marine notes have a little bit of a dirty touch. So I decided not to include them, although I would categorize them as fresh clean scents, but they are not to the level that I want them to be, if that makes any sense. And for that, I decided only to include Eden Rock because although the mineral note you can smell, but it's very crisp, clean in a way. And it has also this slightly expensive Ah, vibe to it that makes this fragrance quite fitting to this category. Next category are musky fragrances and definitely musk can go in different direction. I am talking about clean musk and of course the king of musk is Narciso Rodriguez and the first one that I picked is pure musk. I will leave a picture of the fragrance here. I decluttered that fragrance not because it's bad but I really, really love it, but because I have another one that I'm going to talk about that I definitely prefer to it. And pure musk is just like the bottle. It's white, it's crisp, it's clean, but yet cozy in a way. So this is a fragrance that I would consider that can go both summer and winter clean. There is another version that pure musk absolute which also has the same vibe, but it has more sweetness. And I definitely prefer that one for winter time. Uh, I also don't have it, but it's on my wish list. Now, the next one is again from Narciso, and this is Musk Noir. And I decided to include Musk Noir and not Musk Noir Rose, because between the two, this is the most clean one, let's say. Here, again, it's quite simplistic, not as simple as pure musk. There is a little bit of sweetness from the plum. It is slightly floral and a little bit of leather. The end result for me is a clean, classy fragrance. I love this one so much and I was debating if I should include it, but then I remembered that once I did wear this fragrance and a friend of mine told me, you smell so good, you smell like clean clothes that was just ironed. And when I remembered that, I decided to include it. And 
she is definitely right it has this clean vibe i wouldn't say like clean ironed clothes that will definitely go to not a perfume super dose but still it has this feeling and i love it love it love it so that is mask noir next are fresh citrusy fragrances and I have a lot of fresh citrusy fragrances, but I decided to include only that the ones that give me a very clean feeling. And the first one is Chanel Chance Eau Fresh. Now, all the previous fragrances were quite simple. This one is complex, like what you would expect from a Chanel fragrance. It's fruity, it's floral, but it's mostly citrusy, musky fragrance. And to me, it's the musk that really gives this clean vibe. Uh, actually, the whole chance line, I think the musk is quite predominant in all of them. And it's such a classy fragrance, but yet not a mature one. So it's so versatile. Everybody can wear this fragrance at any age, any occasion. I mean, I wear this for uh, after the shower as the fragrance of the day uh, when i want to feel fresh you know it's a little bit hot and i just want to spritz myself with something that makes me feel fresh i spray it it's fun but yet classy a stunning 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 fragrance it has jasmine and iris and queens and some citrusy notes a musky undertone and a little bit of woody notes but the whole experience is a fresh clean musky scent love it and highly recommend it and since chanel is definitely expensive i decided to include an affordable option although it does not have the same performance and this is versace versense very very similar to a fresh but in here it's a little bit more sharp it's a little bit more woody like the difference are minimal i actually have um comparison between the two that I didn't upload yet I will leave it in the description down below and in the eye up here once I upload it and I think I will do that very soon so definitely stay tuned but mostly to me this is slightly sharper slightly woodier version of chance of fresh and the only problem is the lasting power is not really great on it but i mean it's a fragrance that you can find on discount so yeah maybe you can reapply it during the day if you want the last fresh fragrance is from the aqua Ligoria line from guerlain again a line that you should check if you love this vibe but the one that gives me more clean than fresh vibe although it's a very fresh fragrance is bergamot calabria there is a lot of bergamot of course here but it has a little bit of a green edge because there is pity grain and it has a woody musky base all of the aqua Ligoria line are very fresh but to me this is also from the bergamot collections that i have the one that mostly smells clean and it's one of my favorite bergamot fragrances so check it out if you love fresh bergamot and you don't mind a slightly green touch so a slightly aromatic touch then definitely check bergamot calabria from aqua Ligoria from guerlain the last one in this category is again a chanel from the same line and this is chanel Oviv. i discovered this one i am totally in love with it and it's even more refreshing than the Eau Fresh. It's definitely more on the citrusy side than Eau Fresh. Eau Fresh is more musky floral. Definitely there is citrus, but it's more musky floral. While this one is more on the citrusy side. So there is grapefruit, there is blood orange, but it's not like a punch in your face, like a lot of grapefruit or blood orange fragrances. It's more demure in a way. Is that the right word i don't know it's fresh but not invasive very again classy as you can see i don't have it for a long time and look at the dents that i made to this one i'm i can't stop wearing this one it's one of my go-to fragrances recently so that was chance au vive next category are fresh florals and you may say but you mentioned some fragrances in the fresh citrusy that had a lot of floral notes 
yes but they were to me more on the citrusy side than on the floral side the next one are definitely florals so the first one again from the chance line from uh chanel this is autumn and this is extremely fresh but in a very delicate feminine girly innocent way again it has this musky base that makes the chance line very fresh and i'm talking about the eau de toilette by the way not the eau de parfum it has jasmine and hyacinth and iris if i'm not mistaken it has also this fresh bergamot note and has a little bit of sweetness from queens but mostly this is a delicate feminine musky floral fragrance and again if you are on a budget i have an alternative and that is l'enva eclat de fleur i have again a comparison between this one and l'enva eclat de fleur and other fragrances in the same category which i didn't upload yet again i will leave it linked down below and in the eye up here once i upload it so check it so this is my pick for those who want this very clean vibe but on the very feminine side next is a jasmine fragrance and this is a jasma cosamuno from armani Privé. now this is not only jasmine it's jasmine and lily of the valley mostly in the fragrances that have a predominant note of lily of the valley you have this green floral touch that to me smells very clean it gives this very clean vibe sometimes lily of the valley can be on the indolic side to me here it's not it's more on the clean side it also has a very delicate jasmine so it's very light and fresh simple but yet put together this is how I would describe this fragrance. So this I would recommend for those who love Jasmine and Lily of the Valley because to me, both of them are the main notes here. So just Marco Zamuno from Armani Privé. Next one is a cheapie that I have only a miniature of and this is Versace Bright Crystal. And this to me checks a lot of boxes. So. It's floral because the main note here is peony and also a little bit of lotus so it's kind of a watery floral and there is a slightly sweet side because there is pomegranate and yuzu it has a musky undertone and it has a very particular note of ice in it and I don't know if it's this ice note or the whole composition it's very clean fresh and to me, it smells like someone who just took a shower. I don't know. I love this one for the summer. I had a few samples that I finished because I am reaching for this one this year more than any year. Maybe because of the heat. If you didn't know, uh, Europe is melting. We have extreme heat and I don't know. I am reaching for the samples that I have of crystal, of, of bright crystal quite frequently. So I definitely have to get myself a bottle, but I'm on, on a no buy, so I will not and I will wait till next year. Last fragrance is this category. I was debating if I should include it or not, but for some reason it gives me this vibe. So we have Flora Botanica from Balenciaga. If you watched my haul, I was not impressed with this fragrance at all. This is a fresh green rose. It has cannabis in the nose. Now, if you test this fragrance on a blotter, you will get a lot of cannabis and you will not like it. And it's not going to go away, by the way, if you test it on paper. I would highly recommend you test this one on skin and more than once because it's one of these fragrances that you will get addicted to as you can see i have used quite a lot of this fragrance and i have it for two weeks maybe when you spray it on skin the first blast you will get a lot of cannabis which is not pleasant i have to admit you have to wait for like 10 minutes and it will become this extremely unique green rose 
it's like you have just watered your garden not that it smells dirty or earthy no it smells very fresh green i don't know how to explain it <laughs> it's just nice and in the very dry down for some reason i didn't see anyone talk about that so i don't know if it will do the same on you but on my skin like after let's say an hour to me it smells as if you have a applied an extremely luxurious rose oil or something of a sort it's very bizarre i don't get it when i smell it from the cap but on my skin this is how it behaves so you may think where is the clean here well i don't know i can't say that this is a clean scent but it gives me this clean out of the shower feeling but in a very sophisticated luxurious way i don't know why i don't know if you have the same experience if you did please tell me in the comments down below last category are fresh fruity florals and of course the king of this category is light blue i mean the original one or the intense version are both very fresh clean fragrances and why do i have them in the fruity florals well, I decided to go by the notes because if you look up the notes on these fragrances, they are a fruity floral fragrance. So the, you have granny miss apples, there is a musky undertone, a lot of florals, but to me they smell like the bottles. So they have this very aquatic feeling to them. And of course, my favorite one is the Intense. It's the one that I would recommend because it definitely has better performance than the original one and to me it smells better and it's more fresh and clean by the way and for some reason I associate the smell with sailing so you have a lot of air and it's fresh and you get a splash of water on you but without this you know marine touch this is how this fragrance smells to me I love to wear it for after the shower for the gym so i can feel a little bit clean while while i'm sweating i hate going to the gym by the way because i hate sweat <laughs> i hate it so this helps a lot actually and this one again checks a lot of boxes it's citrusy it's clean it's fresh it's aquatic it's musky i know the whole bunch is here it's all of the categories mixed together in a bottle it's one of these fragrances that even if you are not in love with the smell you will reach for for some reason it fills the gap in your collection if that makes any sense next fragrance is to me an alternative to light blue if you want it more on the natural side and that is love of mantis from atelier Cron. they definitely give me the same vibe uh, it's again fresh, floral, citrusy, musky in a way. But this one is less musky, more floral than a light blue. And it's again a fragrance that to me smells like someone that just took a shower. And I love it for its refreshing quality. This is one of my go-to fragrances when I want to feel fresh when it's very hot. I have actually a travel size with me all the time in my purse. So when I feel like I am dying, I just spritz a little bit of Love of Mantis and keep myself fresh. Anyway, love this one. I know that Atelier Cologne is not available anymore in the US, but I have a buying guide where I go through all the alternatives or the possible alternatives, let's say, of the famous fragrances from Atelier Cologne. And I think this is, will be the video that I will upload next. So again, definitely stay tuned, hit the notification bell, so you will know when I upload that video. So these were all the summer fragrances. Uh, so they are definitely on the fresh side. But I thought, what about winter? You definitely sometimes need also during winter to feel clean so here is the bonus winter clean fragrances they are definitely totally different to the ones that i just mentioned as i said pure musk from narciso works beautifully for summer and winter and the absolute more for winter next one is easy miyaki a drop easy miyaki hmm. 
I'm so in love with this fragrance, <laughs> you can't even imagine. It's very delicate, feminine, powdery, not very powdery, but slightly powdery lilac fragrance. One of my subscribers actually commented saying that this smells like an expensive body lotion. And I definitely get it. And actually, it's the perfect description. It smells divine. I love it. I also love this one as a bed scent, but during winter, I found myself also using it like an after the shower fragrance. It's very white and fluffy like a cloud. Absolutely gorgeous scent. So I highly recommend it, not only for this category, I mean, in general, check this fragrance. The new version I did not like. I have a review on it. You will find it in the description. I definitely prefer the original one. Next one is Musk Chamel from Armani Privé. This is a musky fragrance that has this very unique opening because it has aldehydes in the notes, but I would categorize it as a clean fragrance. So not only the opening, but also the dry down, which I prefer, definitely smells clean. It has a very clean, ambery dry down. I don't know how you can combine clean with amber, but I don't know, it's the musk. I have no idea. This is a very underrated fragrance, in my opinion. I absolutely love to wear this one again, like a dropped easy for bedtime, especially if I have my shower at the evening and I go to bed, I spray this one. And this clean feeling remains with me till I fell asleep. And don't get me wrong, you can wear this one anywhere, anytime, especially during winter. But I think I mainly, yeah, I almost only use it for that occasion. I should wear it more during winter. Anyway, that was Musk Chanel from Armani Privé. Last fragrance is again one that I wore and someone commented uh, telling me, you smell very clean. Santal Karma from Atelier Cologne. This is a sandalwood fragrance, but as you would expect from Atelier Cologne, it's very light and fresh. It's not a very sharp, in-your-face, dark sandalwood. It's a very light and friendly sandalwood in a way. It's perfect as a signature scent, as something that you can wear for the office. And it's totally unisex, by the way. Men and women can wear it. But uh, for me, on a woman, this one is more for winter for some reason. But for men, it's all year around. Don't tell me why I am categorizing this fragrance like that. It has the same vibe like Bois d'Argent from Christian Dior, if you know that fragrance. I didn't include Bois d'Argent because to me, that one leans masculine. It has also this clean vibe, but it's more on the masculine side. And this is why I decided not to include it. And that was my last one. So these were my favorite, my top clean fragrances. Now let's get to my top three. And number three is Atelier Cologne Cedre Atlas. Number two, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense. The fresh, crisp, Granny Smith apple note here is just to die for. And my number one, not a shocker, Juliet has a gun, not a perfume super dose. I mean, this is the fragrance that came to my mind when I thought about clean fragrances. It's this one. If this doesn't do it for you, if you love clean fragrances, I don't know what will. This is the clean girl aesthetic to me. Love it. So that was it. I hope you liked this video and you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumb up. That will help me a lot. Also, don't forget to subscribe and to hit the notification bell so you will get notified when I upload any new video. And if you liked this video, you will find here two others that you may like. Please tell me in the comments down below what is your go-to clean fragrance and what do you think about the whole clean girl vibe or aesthetic? Tell me in the comments down below. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.